just had an awesome workout at the gym. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'd be working out all day, every day. No, just like every day. Um, or I try to. So today, this is normally what I look like. So you guys apparently really want a hair tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys step by step what I do with my hair when it's dirty, like it is right now. Look like a, what is it called? My friend Samantha says she looks like a forefather. Anyways. So I'm going to show you guys what I do, every step that I do with my hair. So don't forget to like this video if you liked it by giving me a thumbs up, subscribe, sign up for alerts. So I ordered this online um, at Ulta. I've heard so many good things about this, so I'm going to be using this today. I've tried it out a couple times. I love it, and trust me, it gets really hot because I already burnt my hand two times on it, like really bad actually. So be careful. Use the glove that comes in here. I like to live on the dangerous side and not use the glove, but um... But yeah, that's what it looks like. I think it was like somewhere around $80, but right now, if you go to Ulta and you check your emails, I believe they're doing 20% off prestige items. Um, I think this is considered prestige. I'm sure that it, it, it is considered prestige. I'm pretty sure a glove comes with it. Yeah, so it comes with a glove if you want to not risk risk burning your hands. I believe you probably could still burn your hands. So be careful, be careful. This thing is really hot. I'm gonna start off my hair routine by um, using this Fanola No Yellow Purple Shampoo. Um, I, I try to only use this once a week, but I find that I always like to use it like every time I wash my hair, so I need to not, or else it will turn your hair purple. Not even kidding, I have a strand that's purple-ish, and uh, I ain't super mad at it, so I just want my whole hair to be like, the brassiness to be gone, so I keep using this. Uh, thank you, shout out to my girl. I think her she goes by hairstylist Sammy something for telling me about this. I know Whitney Simmons uses this too, so I'm like, I needed that. And then after I rinse that out, I am going to do this perfect blonde purple toning mask. I think I've already used this twice, like the past two times I've washed my hair, so I'm a little, probably shouldn't be using this for a third time, but I'm gonna do it anyways. My favorite hair products of all time would probably be Arbe. So I love the signature shampoo and this is what my hairstylist recommends. She loves Arbe and I love it too. It smells so good. It makes my hair stay clean for a longer amount of time. Um, so this is what I use if I'm not using the purple shampoo and then I'm going to be using the signature conditioner. And I use this all the time and I'm almost out of that one because I don't be using the shampoo as much. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, I'm going to wash my hair. And of course I always like brush out my hair before I get in the shower because I have so much hair. I have really fine strands of hair, but I just have tons of hair. So I'm going to be brushing that out, getting in the shower, showing you guys what I do. I'll come back and show you guys the next step. All right, so I just got out of the shower and I towel dry my hair a little bit, but I always use this brush. The wet brush is seriously amazing. I love this thing and I like this new one that I got. Um, I guess it's just more flexible. Yeah, it is. I'm going to brush my hair and then after I brush it, I'm gonna towel dry it again. And um, I've been using this Pravana The Perfect Blonde. This is a seal and protect leave-in. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my towel dried hair and I'm gonna put it up in a clip and I'm gonna let it just sit in my hair while I do my makeup. Okay, so I just got done with my makeup. So I'm taking my hair down and it's dried out just a little bit. So it's perfect how I want it. And I'm gonna go um, take you guys into my bathroom. I use this Dyson, and I'm so thankful to have this because this is such an amazing hair dryer. I know that it is like a pricey splurge, but I really, really wanted it uh, when it came out, and so I've really, really been loving it. It's really great. I use the attachments, like they're just magnetic. And um, so basically, I just dry my hair. I'm not gonna really be able to show you guys that well. Okay, so I know this isn't the best lighting or anything, but I'm gonna show you all like really the majority out where I have my light set up. So, so usually I'll use something that's kind of gonna repair my hair since I'm kind of drying it out with all the products that I'm using because I've heard like for that mask that I've been using that it'll dry out my hair a lot. So I've noticed a little bit of dryness, so I'm gonna use some of this Argon oil, my friend Dee gave me this and um, it's a good heat defense, it says, smooth and shine. And sometimes I use this r Co High Dye, which I really like that too. It smells so good, it gives you like moisture and shine. So I think I'm gonna use a little bit of both because I'm super indecisive. And I mainly just put this on my ends and I'll usually take whatever is left and add it to the top 
of my head. I just hate it when my hair is remotely like greasy at all. I definitely don't start out on the top of my head. I mainly just do the ends. After I do that, I kind of do like a rough dry. I just do like a little bit of a rough dry and then I go through with a round brush and kind of just like straighten out some pieces. Okay, so usually at this point, my hair is all over the place crazy and I have to like figure out my part. This comb, I don't know what I do without this comb. So, you know, obviously, I feel like you guys know, but I'm just, you know, adding this in. So I used to, you know, sometimes I'll part it further, sometimes I, I'll part it in the middle, but pretty much nine times out of 10, 99% of the time, I part it like right here. Um, I part it a little off from the middle. So I'm going to add the attachment, grab my round brush. I use this brush uh, by Verb. You can use any round brush you want. I used to use a Chi one, but I like the Verb one better. I heard that there's these ones from um, from Ulta that are supposed to be really good called like, not Alice and Olivia, but it's like something Garden, Olivia Garden or something like that. So maybe I need to get that. Let me know if you guys have that, because then I might need it. See, it just like looks kind of different. Like this side just kind of more stringy and this one's a little bit more together sometimes i just leave this and just walk out the door i don't uh curl my hair like this like i'm about to show you guys like all the time because i feel like it's just uh, it takes a so long you know but i like this sometimes i just leave my hair like that but in pictures and photos and stuff i like my hair to be wavy so i'm gonna do the most for you guys today i'm gonna just do the most even though the lighting in here sucks well, that's about it. I really wish I could give myself a full-on blowout, but I've tried it and it's, it's just impossible. And I'm gonna show you guys how I use this wand. I have, I think it's an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, I don't know. It's very, very messy over here, so don't judge me. Um, I did wanna mention one more thing before I go into the, like the hair tutorial portion. I do use biotin, and this is supposed to promote healthy hair and strong nails. Cellular energy production. God, my nails are so bad. Um, but yeah, I use this. I take like one of these a day if I remember. So I think that that really helps with my hair. I get a lot of questions, which I really appreciate, like on if I have extensions and I don't have extensions. I just have a lot of hair. Um, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's like good and bad. I mean, it's good. I'm happy about it, but it's a lot of hair to deal with. So I used to get my hair thinned out when I was a kid. Like I used to get it thinned. And I think the hairdresser was like, what's wrong with you? but I just hated having so much hair, but now I appreciate it more. So I use these dry bar clips, and I usually always do this side first, I don't know why, but I take the one that I'm not using and just clip it so that it's on the other side, so it's probably not gonna look so cute for the video, but what else? I go section by section or layer by layer, and I don't know if I properly do this, but I always take the one I'm gonna use, and then I take the rest of my hair, and I just clip it up out of my way, and I just take it strand by strand, when I want it to last and when I want it to look really good. Wrap it around the wand and I leave like the tail out of it. This wand is so hot, you guys. I mean, I don't know if it's just been a really long time since I've gotten a new wand, which it has, it's been a long time, but this one is so freaking hot. It burnt me twice, so be really careful. It's hard because I can't actually see. I'm just looking in the monitor right now. I have a mirror over here. So yeah, I just have like this strand and sometimes I alternate like, especially with my curling iron. When I'm using a curling iron, like with the clip thing on it, sometimes I do opposite directions. Usually I just do the opposite directions whenever I'm using my curling iron and not a wand. Um, usually I'll just go directly away from the face, but, but you know, we mixing it up here. I'm gonna have to go get a mirror because I'm too scared I'm gonna burn myself again. That was not a fun experience when I burnt myself the other day. I mean, my finger looks pretty bad. Oh well. You're supposed to kind of catch it without burning yourself. And just hold the curl there for a second. And usually I'll spray every strand. This is my favorite hairspray that I've ever used. This is the L'Oreal Elnet. Extra Stronghold Unscented. I like the unscented. I don't like the way that the normal one smells. So I just will spray each strand usually or I'll spray by section. Probably not gonna spray every single strand today because I don't like the way it feels when my hair has a lot of product in it, like when it's clean. Um, and normally you're supposed to, you know, style your hair when it's dirty or they say that 
dirty hair styles better. When my hair is dirty and like it's time to wash, I will put tons of product in my hair. Like I'm like, let's just make this last as, as, as long as we can because I hate washing my hair. And I try to leave the end out because I like the way it looks with straighter ends. I like dimension and I like it to kind of do different things. So sometimes I'll leave a longer strand out. Sometimes I don't want to burn my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, this thing is so freaking hot and you can't adjust the temperature. High temp caution. It does warn you. Oh, and by the way, I did not, uh, I, this is not, they did not send me this product. I bought this with my own money at Ulta. Just a little disclaimer. Um, I wanted to try it out. I wanted a new hair wand and I've gone back and forth between like, should I get Bella Me? Should I do new me? Or, you know, should I try? And everyone said to get this one pretty much. So the reviews on this one were way better and I'll just go for what's best. You know what I mean? So, you know, and this one was like 80. I know that on their website, they do deals a lot of the time if you use a code, which I don't have one. So just use, um, if you want to buy it, get it at Ulta and use your 20% off code. Stay. Probably a better way to do this, but I've been getting a lot of questions on my hair lately, which thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for caring about my hair, hair care. And I only um, run my fingers through whenever it cools off. I don't do it right when it's hot or else it kind of like defeats the purpose, or at least with me. I really have to go like strand by strand by strand if I want it to last at all, or else it's just not going to. I'm not gonna put a ton of product in my hair today because I am going on vacation for a couple days and I'm not gonna wash my hair. And I want my hair to be like as clean as possible. And I feel like it just starts to feel dirty when I add tons and tons of product in it. So normally with my other wand, I'd have to hold down for like 20 seconds. I'd count 20 seconds in my head. But this one is more like 10 seconds or probably less. When you're lost in the universe, lost in the universe, don't lose faith. My mother says your whole life's in the hand of God. Break it down. I always make sure the front piece is like lower. I don't want it like at the starting at the top of my head, you know what I mean? Here we go. Trap to fab, guys. Yeah, like sometimes the pieces back here, I'll, I'll like start up a little bit higher because I like the volume to kind of be in the back. But for the most part, I mean, I kind of just like the curls to be lower, if that makes sense. I'm gonna wait till all of them cool off and then I'll kind of run through my fingers. Um, and I'm gonna do the other side now. I just do the same exact thing. It's really not anything different much different than what probably other people do. Not that special, but I thought I'd just give the people what they want. Just hair toot. Toot or EL. Maybe this trend started when you left this little piece out just so people didn't get scared about burning their hand. Maybe that maybe that's how that originated. Started, whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Life's in the hand of God. I'm kind of just doing all of them away from my face. I've done a couple towards my face, but it seems to be a little tricky with the fact that I can't see what I'm doing, so. We done. How long did that take? Not that long. It looks so good and I could hardly see what I was doing. So this is like what I do pretty much. And usually when I'm done with my hair and I see, like I get a lot of flyaways a lot of the time because I have such fine hair and it'll just fly everywhere. So I use this high dive just to kind of complete everything. Obviously I like use a little bit of hairspray, use this high dive and I put it all over my hands and I just really run through, run my fingers through my hair. Cause especially like for photos, if I'm taking pictures and stuff, I hate it when I see hairs in my face. Oh, it makes me so mad. I'm like, ugh, this would be great if the hair went there. And I know you can like face tune that, but it's kind of a lot, it's very time consuming to do that, so. So I do that just lightly because I don't want to wear the hair down too much. And sometimes I'll finish off with like a spray. I love this herbivore sea mist, coconut and sea salt. It really should be called vanilla, coconut and sea salt because it smells like vanilla, which I really like. I really do. Sometimes if I feel like it's a little flat, like around this area, what I will do is I will go back. Hopefully this is not, hopefully this is still a little bit hot. And I will just add a couple of, I'll add a couple of higher, uh, curls because I like just to give a little bit of volume, a little bit of body. Sometimes I'll just go back and just add one or two in on each side, my OCD self. It's not going to be super, super tight because I had my iron turned off because it's, you know, 
extremely hot, so. All right guys, that completes my hair tutorial showing you guys from beginning to end, what I do to my hair, how I wash it, how I style it, my hair tips, everything that I do for my hair. So um, yeah, and also I love, I'll show you one more thing before I leave. So I use clips a lot of the time, like if I'm not out in public, because I don't like the way that it actually looks. So if I'm at home, I'll use clips so that it doesn't pull on my hair too much. It's a little bit better on your hair, I've been told. So, um, but if I'm using a rubber band, I've been obsessed with these. Um, I think they're called Invisible, Invisibobble. So this is one obviously I've used and abused, and this is a new one. So you can tell it does stretch out because I'm just like hard on everything. I'm hard on my shoes, I'm hard on things, and I stretch this thing out. And this one's like a new one. You can see like the difference. But yeah, so I use these. I always like have them around my wrist and stuff like that just in case I need it, just in case, you know. So it'll not leave a crease in your hair. It's better for your hair. It's not going to leave like a crease in your hair. So I love it for that reason because I hate it when you take your hair, hair band out and like there's this big crease in your hair and you're like, great. You know, so I love these. Thought I'd just share that other tip with you guys. I think that's about it. I think that's about it. I only wash my hair like two times a week because it's so much work. It's best to not wash your hair so much so that you don't strip your hair of all the natural oils. That might have changed by now, I don't know. But, um, but that's what I do. And y'all, there we go. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Really supports my channel. Subscribe, click the alert bell if you guys wanna see alerts and notifications from me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support and everything, all the uplifting sweet comments. Um, I love you guys so much. Let me know what you wanna see next down below. I love you so much, I love you so much. One more thing. So I have, oh, by the way, this is one of those sweatshirts that I got from my United Monograms, like in my last video that I did the haul. So if you guys want to try on haul, let me know. I think I'm going to order some more stuff online from other, uh, other places. So maybe I'll do like a fall clothing haul or something. So anyways, lastly, I did pick up this Dose of Colors friend, Friendcation palette and I have not used it, have not touched it yet. So maybe I'll do a video first impression type of video using this palette. If you guys want to see that. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.